Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noding. Um, in this episode, I'm gonna show you um, some kind of applications of what we have learned uh, before. Um, remember the matrix camera setup? Um, I'll show you to you again the setup. So I'll open Blender, and this is the setup that I made using Blender, Animation Nodes, and Spare Chalk add-on. Basically, um, so we have uh, like a 3D objects um, at the center. And you have, you see here, I have like a bunch of cameras. I call it like the matrix camera. But basically, those are the cameras that's pointing into um, our 3D objects, right? The 3D objects can be a little bit more detailed and like having extra more features, maybe like a proper material, etc., with a texture. But uh, it's really, really basic material. But you can see as I scrub through the frame, it's gonna take a a render of this 3D objects from different angle. I have this um, the Blender Sushi sta uh, snail logo in the center, but I'm also I also have the the teapot somewhere. But anyhow, I take a renders um, of this, and I'm using it for machine learning. Like I said, um, let's see what I have here. Let me collapse that. So. Like I said, I'm doing this uh, study and research on machine learning. And this is like a something to do with a uh, um, Apple um, iOS app uh, development. It's really basic stuff. But um, uh, recently in uh, WWDC 2018, Apple introduces this um, Create ML, um, a way to uh, for you for user to easily create like a um, machine learning model that you can use in uh, inside inside your app. So the idea is that, of course, I already took a, a render of the of a teapot snail. Uh, let me quickly open it, and also a donut. A donut is basically um, currently is an image of a torus, but I have also image of the this monkey head, Susan monkey head, and then snail, and of course the teapot. And I'm using them to generate some kind of a image classifier machine learning. And this is running currently on uh, Xcode Playground. So there's uh, just a few lines of code. Import the create ML UI. Let the builder equal ML image classifier builder. And show it on live view. So if I, if I run this, it's going to give me um, this live view of image classifier. The idea is that we have a folder with a bunch of smaller uh, subfolder with the name of our objects to be classified so now it's going to begin training so this is where things get quite interesting um, supposedly it's a uh, i think it's doing some kind of transfer learning so you can see down below here there's a like log of what of what's happening the more data or the more image we feed into it like hundreds or thousands even larger data, like tens of thousands or more, the more accuracy you might get. And so let it actually run. I, I kind of like uh, the, the preview here. It's a really cool. It's like you're, you're teaching your machine these four 3D objects, right? And uh, these 3D objects can have more texture and maybe I should actually use a different lens uh, while rendering, but at some point when it's uh, finished learning, I could practically maybe maybe I can have like a Susan head here also. I don't know if it's gonna work, so I can I can smooth it. So I have two objects here, and I never show this image. Uh, I'm gonna render it like that. I'm gonna take a picture. So maybe take a picture of Suzanne from this angle and also take a picture of this snail logo from this angle. So I've never shown this picture into this guy. So it's uh, already doing the it already done with the training. And from the screenshot, I'm gonna grab uh one okay one two three 
drop it into the test folder. So inside the test test folder, I have a bunch of image that I have never shown to um, my Mac or never show it to this uh, image classifier. But I'm gonna drag and drop it here to begin the testing. So now if I enlarge it. It's predicted that this is a teapot. That's correct. That's teapot. Oh, still, it it thinks that this image is a snail. This is actually Suzanne head. It's monkey head. Oh, snail, 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 snail. It predicted this as a snail. I kind of hoping this can be like snail and monkey. It keep looking at Suzanne head. It's still thinking it's a snail, but the snail is correct. So Suzanne head. Maybe Susan had need more training. Okay, so I will do this very quickly. I'm gonna save this as a new blend. I'm gonna make more subdivisions, so more camera, and then this is like a total of 642, maybe even more. It needs more training on Susan head. Oh, actually, uh, now it has. Too many cameras maybe i just reduce it you don't need many camera but basically you you can randomize the seed um in fact what would be nicer instead of icosphere you use a random vector and make like a 600 more image scatter the camera more And we have okay, so we have 600, and this should go into. Oh, actually, yeah, I think it should be fine. So this gonna train further our machine learning to to tell that this is actually Susan head. I'm gonna run it for 600 frame. and render the animations so it's gonna take a render of susan head from more of different angle so it's using all the camera like i said the camera um can be of different lenses and also susan head can be like textured and a little bit better and so the more i train provide the training data perhaps at some point it will actually recognize this as a Susan head instead of snail but this 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 is monkey that's correct so this is kind of interesting and still I'm just showing you the basics here it's a you can you can actually learn this yourself um, I think that's a if you search for create ML Apple WWDC 2018 you're gonna get to that video introducing create ml this is pretty cool you need in order to do this you need of course mac uh, mac os the latest version i'm currently currently running this Mo mojave mac os mojave 10.14 beta and then the xcode also needs to be xcode 10 this is xcode 10 um, latest beta everything's still in beta so in few months time it should be available for everyone um, but yeah it's kind of interesting for me that this is actually something that's becoming pretty easy to do you just provide a bunch of image photograph or 3d render um, oh blender just crashes but it's okay now I have like a new uh, new training data right at least and this is a bunch of Susan head I can rename it um, name it Suzanne rename and just gonna drag and drop it into my other folder so this is the temp directory where's my other folder training data my objects this is monkey drag and drop it here
See, I might accidentally drop snail image into Susan here, but I'll be careful with that. So that's snail, okay snail, make sure I have all Susan image and snail, let me quickly sort it, okay they are all snail image. I think what um, the machine learning will do is to cleverly study this image, turn it into some kind of maybe point cloud or something, some kind of filter, right? Teapot should be all image of teapot. Okay, let's go back to our Xcode playground. Let's uh, let's rerun this, stop this, and then run it again. Minimize, collecting training data, oops, yeah, I mean, I made a mistake, should be this, so this is my training data, this folder contains donuts, monkey, snail, and teapot. So it's now learning with more data. Uh, you might notice this, this is actually pretty fast. It's gonna run probably for a few seconds, if not a few minutes. The test folder, I'm just gonna delete everything. Actually, I'm not gonna delete everything. I'm gonna be using a new snapshot, okay? I'm gonna open a new blender and gonna just gonna take a snapshot very quickly. See monkey head. Might reduce the number of cameras so it's a bit faster. So Susan, take snapshot from different angle. I'm gonna open this one. This is a snail. Snapshot. I guess ideally this is uh, gonna be become some kind of app and then you use your iPhone or iPad and then point into an image and it will recognize it. Let's also do the teapot. Try far away one maybe. I never tried the donut. The donut can be kind of interesting. So donut. Okay, let's see how it goes. Now, new folder, test 2, I have a bunch of screenshot, plug this into, drop it into test 2, and drop images to begin testing. Oh, cool, it recognized the donuts. Cool. This one, donuts, monkey, snail, teapot, teapot, monkey, snail, donuts, snail, monkey, snail, donut. Eh, actually, that's teapot. Yeah, I think it's, it's actually pretty cool. It's a uh, hundred percent correct. It's pretty amazing, right? So it's like the whole thing is like under a few minutes and it's already started to recognize it better. Um, imagine this. Um, 
I think um, ideally you probably like want to do this um, with real objects. I don't know what kind of image, maybe of flowers or etc. Um, Apple suggested that you need you tr if you train the model, if you want to kind of look at the image uh, test image using a photograph that's taken using iPhone, then you are gonna train it using photos that's taken using an iPhone. Um, so that's uh, something to keep in mind. I haven't tested with different kind of lighting. I don't know, maybe uh, maybe this is interesting to try also. So with Blender still open, if I have a monkey head, and if I have different lighting, I wonder if it still recognizes it as a monkey. So this is a bit better. It's, it shows more features and then feature is the key point here. It's a, it's only as clever as how uh, you actually given it. So image classifier, all right. This is the training. And we have our screenshot of monkey head. It's, it's keep saying it's a snail. Pretty interesting. Take a snapshot. Take a snapshot. Take a snapshot. Of course, I need to provide it maybe like a with more, more image, not just a couple. One, two, three. Drop it. Snail, snail. Monkey. Yeah. That's interesting, and um, let's hide this and let's go back to our test training data number one. Drop it here. So currently, just drag and dropping. Teapot, teapot, snail. Ah, that's not a snail. That's a monkey. I need to tell it that this is a, a monkey head. So maybe it's a good idea to put this image. So based on this test, test data that's wrong, I'm gonna put it back and then it's gonna later recognize it. So it's gonna just gonna be like keep going um, study that I will do. Um, hopefully at some point I will demo this as an app. Um, for now, this is just gonna be like this. I'm gonna be using Xcode to test, but hopefully you find this inspiring and you want to try it yourself uh, with uh, real photos, I don't know, Blender is gonna be cool for um, if you'll have like a 3D objects that you want to visualize from every different angles and this is how I do it. Okay, so hopefully this is uh, useful for you. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.